Hey, it's Ray Steele. Hope you like this, and please hit the subscribe button. Appreciate it. If you know anything about Indianapolis television, it goes without saying that Barbara Boyd was the go-to professor of the College of Consumer Knowledge at WRTV back in the day. For example, Ms. Boyd knew how to buckle up. Before seatbelts were even mandatory, Channel 6's Fly Girl got some spank and drove off in a deaf OJ just to make sure we knew what we were supposed to do. After seatbelts became state law, Ms. Boyd found another place where they were becoming ubiquitous, the grocery store. In 1987, she explained to us why taking the belt to your kids, not the kind you're thinking of, was a good idea. And she also saw that some parents were not taking the hint. There were young children pushing the carts, which means they could easily stumble under the wheels and hurt themselves. Others jumped up and down and swung over the edge, while still others raced through the store, piggybacking the carts. And just why weren't these children belted? We usually don't put him in a seatbelt cart anyway. He does a combination of things. He climbs out, he gets inside the basket, he gets under the basket. So we don't, usually don't even put him in a, a seatbelt cart. Parents, these belted shopping carts have been placed in the stores for your child's safety. Why not take advantage of it? And as you learn on day one when you come to work here at WRTV, you always do what Ms. Boyd tells you to do. With Throwback Thursday, Ray Steele, WRTV.